Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and many of you have been asking me to do a what's on my iPad video, and so this is the iPad that I use the most. This is my 12.9 inch 2018 iPad Pro, and this is what I use all the time. In fact, I use this more than my computer when I'm not editing videos. This is kind of my main go-to device, and I really enjoy using it. So you can see the home screen is pretty sparse, and that's because I use it mostly for things like YouTube and Twitter, and also some email. However, I do have quite a few different apps on this as well on the next page. So first of all, you can see that here are pretty standard apps. Nothing really exciting. I still have Inbox here. I know it's supposed to go away in March, but this particular app I really enjoy using. And once they revamp Gmail to add a couple of the features from this in March, then I'll switch over to it. I do use Google News and sometimes Apple News, mostly just Safari for news. So there's those things. Of course, I have some folders here, shopping. I have B&H Photo where I buy a lot of camera gear. Same with Amazon as well. Now, I have Day One. This is a journaling app. I haven't used it in a while, but I did use it quite a bit in the past. And this application just lets you journal from day to day, add locations, add pictures. So it kind of tracks what you're doing if you want it to, or you can just type in it, it doesn't matter. Now video creation, this may interest some of you. I have a few different applications here and I have Field Monitor, which this works with my Panasonic GH5. So here's that camera. I'm actually recording this with an iPhone XS Max. So many people were asking me how I record videos. A lot of the time I'll use this camera. Uh, right now I have a lens on it for taking some photos, but normally I'll use this camera to record. And I have a couple others as well that I use from time to time. And Field Monitor lets me see this remotely. So I can see everything that this sees here and just kind of see it uh, real time. And it's, it's nice as far as that part goes. Now iMovie is pretty obvious, it's for video editing. Filmic Remote, the same thing here. I can record with an iPhone and see what I'm recording remotely with Filmic Remote. So if you have Filmic Pro on your iPhone or whatever device, go into this and it will actually look for a different device and let you completely control everything remotely. It's really handy. And then LumaFusion, these, are, these two are paid apps. Actually, these three are paid app. But LumaFusion is a great editing application. I've been learning it more and more. It's missing media, but this is one I actually... Uh, recorded or did a video in here. I recorded it and then completely edited it, edited it within the iPad Pro. So you'll see here's the edit. Let me shrink this down. So you can see there's the edit. This was a pretty simple and straightforward edit, but there's the end screen edit there. So uh, it works really well. You can do full widescreen 21.9 like I do with these videos, and it's pretty nice. Now, if we go back to the home screen, you'll see this is where I have a lot of other apps. Now, it's not necessarily organized, so it may drive you nuts a little bit. I basically use things here, and then if I need something, I get it here. In fact, most of the time, I use the keyboard. Let me flip this around here. Most of the time, I use the keyboard and search. So if you hit Command Space, just like a Mac, you can search for an app. I search for that app, and then I'm good to go. That's what I use the most. I'm used to it on a MacBook, so I'm pretty quick with it on here. So I have a few different games here. Let me flip this around. I have a few different games here. And when I was really bored, I was playing Command and Conquer Rivals, but I got sick of that pretty quickly. And then when I was searching for hotels for Vegas for CES, I was using that. But Civilization Revolution, I played that quite a bit. Mini Metro's a fun, quick game. These are paid games except for Rivals there. And then eBay, CBS to watch that new Star Trek Discovery. Uh, I watch a lot of different sci-fi things, and that one, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I'd be curious if you watch Star Trek, what you think about it. And then Google Maps is on here. Procreate for creating different uh, art and things. I really don't use this too much. In fact, my kids have used it more than me, but you can create artwork, things like that, and shade whatever you want to do. So it's great for that. I've got to try some others as well. Now finance, I have a few different things in there. I won't go into those. Music, I don't really listen to a whole lot on this device, but SoundCloud and Pocket Casts. Uh, Google Tasks, I don't really use that much either. 
But for photo, here we have some things, Google Photos, Amazon Photos, Pixelmator is where I've done the most editing, and Pixelmator is what I use on the Mac as well to create thumbnails and things like that. So it's basically just an iPad version of that, although I would really look forward to a Pixelmator Pro or really want a Pixelmator Pro on the iPad. If I had Pixelmator Pro, Final Cut Pro, although I am learning LumaFusion, I would like Final Cut Pro, Pixelmator Pro, I could use this full time. Obviously this one says Apple apps, so it's all the Apple apps that I don't use regularly, so they're there. And then productivity, just the ones that come installed. Entertainment, actually this one should go in entertainment. Within entertainment, you'll see I have a few different ones. Uh, these are just for shows that I was watching and then I just don't delete it, but Netflix, Amazon, CBS, like I said. Games, this is some of the older games that I've played through. Uh, the Bridge Constructor Portal, Monument Valley 2, The Room 3, Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, The House of Da Vinci. This is sort of like The Room. I haven't finished that one. Ticket to Ride and then The Room. I've played through all of the different room games. I really enjoy those. Now for utilities, I just have things in here like Geekbench and Speed Test and then a VPN app and 1Password, things like that. So there's not a whole lot going on on my iPad and that's because I like to keep it pretty clean. I do want to try and edit with it more and more on LumaFusion and hopefully Final Cut. It looks like Apple's going to be bringing uh, different apps together so iOS and Mac apps will work seamlessly between different devices so if that's the case maybe we will see Final Cut I'm not keeping my hopes up or or anything about it but if we do see it that'd be great now this video is recorded in HDR and would you rather have 30 frames per second HDR or 60 frames per second 4k let me know what you think in the comments below I just wanted to do something a little bit different I do like HDR and wanted to see what you think but that's it if you have any app suggestions i'd love to hear what you have to say let me know in the comments below and if you have any other comments or questions let me know what you think as well if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper i'll link it in the description as i always do if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching this is aaron i'll see you next time